Hello Tweedledum and Tweedledee, how are you guys today? Yeah, I, I'd love to play a game, that sounds fun. Okay, go ahead! I can see that, okay, I'll, I'm gonna guess, but this looks really hard. Can, can you talk me a little bit more about the numbers? Uh, that helps, but there's still a lot of integers out there. Uh, I like that, yes. Still seems very tough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so they add to zero. Okay, so like minus one and plus one, am I right? Minus two and plus two. Minus ten and plus ten. Ah, uh, minus 150, plus 150. This is impossible, guys. This is this is ridiculous. This is not a fun game. Okay, how on earth could I guess minus 7,777,777? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, well, let me tell you about a related game. This is by a great mathematician from the University of Alberta, Leo Moser. And he had the idea of let's get together three of you, so not just Tweedledum, Tweedledee, but also uh, Tweedlet, okay? So we'll get the three of you together and you'll all guess a number. Please, let's just make it one digit. Yeah, that's better. Now you're gonna be communicating in pairs. You're gonna be adding up the numbers in pairs and telling me the three results. Okay, one minus four and minus one are the results. Now I have to be able to predict which numbers that you guys have. I don't have to say who has which number, I just have to get the numbers right. And I think the numbers minus three, minus one, plus two work. And I'm right. You see guys? Yes, thank you. So minus three minus one gives me the minus four result. Minus one plus two gives me the plus one result. And plus two minus three gives me the minus one result. Yeah, this is a good little puzzle for your students. Get three of your students up in front of the class and you can get them to choose any number, oh, minus five to plus five, and see if the rest of the students can predict which numbers they were. Do you want to try it again? Okay, so go ahead. Yeah, talk to each other. Go ahead. Okay. Aye, this is, this is more difficult. Uh, why don't you just tell me? I'm lazy this time. Minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4, yes. Minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1, yes. And 5 plus 2 is 7, yes. Good, got it. Okay, four of you. Where did where did you come? What's your name? Okay, yeah, this, this looks like it's going to be a challenge, but we can try it again. So all of you are communicating with each other, and of course now there's six pairs, so we come up with six different numbers. Is it possible to come up with a unique solution here? Let me see. No, because I could go minus one, uh, plus one, plus one, plus one. That would work because uh, minus one plus one is zero, minus one plus one is zero, minus one plus one is zero, and then one plus one is two, one plus one is two, and one plus one is two. So all six pairs are accounted for. But the reason it doesn't work is that I could also do this by just choosing a single two and then three zeros. Yeah, like that. That's right. So this doesn't work. So the question is, when can you figure out a unique solution for these puzzles? And when can you not? This is a very interesting problem and you have Leo Mosier to thank for it.